Hello guys, it's Gareth here and welcome to this Vino Plunk production. It is currently Sunday the 23rd of December 2018 and I'm here sat relaxing. It's currently, I just said the time, I'm going to say it again just because, yeah, it's currently about 20 to 10 a.m. And I'm just sat here chilling, um, about to go out downtown do a few things. Here and our final bit of Christmas shopping, the final few things to do before that's it, not going out, staying indoors, um, letting everyone else literally, depending on the situation, fight for uh, for whatever they're going to buy, and then run out and chill and do the things you do the run up before Christmas. Um, I just wanted to record this video and say yes, there's an elephant in the room that the videos, the vlogmas videos, have not been ubiquitous. Um, this year and there are several reasons for that as I've said in previous videos I've had a cold um, some other things in the background have been flaring up some of the conditions and I've just felt like utter crap sometimes and I just feel like coming home playing some games rather than sticking my face in front of a camera and doing that however I thought I'd record this video and first of all wish everybody a very happy Christmas um, because I don't know whether I'll get a video up between now and Christmas Day so if I don't I'll wish you all a very Merry Christmas if I do manage to get a video um, up in time I'll wish you another very Merry Christmas um, but just in case I just want to wish everybody a very happy Merry Christmas or whatever it is you celebrate seasonal celebrations we'll call it um, and I hope you um you get what you ask for, that sort of stuff. I'm, like some people, I do get a bit fatigued and a bit cynical about the whole commercial nature uh, of Christmas or the capitalist nature of Christmas. Um, you know, you spend all your money at Christmas and then just after Christmas or Boxing Day, they hit you with sales. Obviously, the mindset behind that is people do ask for, you know, vouchers and money for Christmas and they're hoping that, you know, that will encourage you to part with that money or credit or what have you. But it's just, it, it, yeah, there is, you know, something about Christmas that no one has any money or everyone's saving every single penny. And it just seems that you've got to spend so much money in the month of December. And there's so many different avenues trying to grab that money from you. But at the same token, it's Christmas at the end of the day. At the core centre of Christmas is the put my brain to some sort of gear is being with family, you know, spending time with family. Um, you know, the what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, the uh, the word I'm looking for, and I'm not finding it right now. Is the completely selfless gift giving. And what I mean by that is there have been years, I'll be honest, I'll say this on camera, where you know, people are giving me so much stuff and I'm thinking, I kind of feel guilty for what I'm giving them. But, it, you know, I have had these conversations with people over the years and it's just that most, you know, when I say to these people, why did you buy me so much stuff? And they just shrug their shoulders and say, Christmas. You know, I say, sorry, I didn't buy you a lot this year. And they sort of said, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you buy. It's the fact you're buying something in the first place. And I think something's happening. Anyway, I'll carry on. We'll go from there. Um, I think my dad's getting up because I'm going downtown with my dad. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's just least with my family. I don't know whether any other people's families. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about that. So, yeah, at least with my family, there is definitely an element of selfless gift giving and giving more than they need to or necessarily have to or go outside their budget. I keep to my budget because I don't have, especially Christmas, I don't have extra cash sometimes anyway so at Christmas things are a bit tighter so you know I have a budget and I keep the budget because I can't really go outside that budget because otherwise you know can't get through the month type of thing so you know but 
people seem to understand that Christmas is, for the average person, not a necessarily easy time. But the same token, you know, the, the and I've said this on, on many occasions, just the, the selfless, um, the acts of kindness throughout a Christmas that goes around. It seems that, you know, you, when you're walking the street sometimes on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, people just say Happy Christmas to you or they, you know, not tip their hat or nod their head or it just seems to be a general feeling of niceness and festivity around. And it's just a nice time of year. Forget about the more cynical aspects of, of Christmas. It's just a nice time of year and there are several things to look forward to. Food, presents, seeing family, depending on how you feel about your family. Um, you know, there are just so many things, um, you know, cuddling around a, f a fireplace, uh, watching Christmas movies or watching whatever movie you like. I know there's the whole debacle whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not. If you want to watch Die Hard at Christmas, Go bloody well ahead. If you want to watch a horror film at Christmas, if that's your thing, yes, I know there are Christmas-themed horror films, but then there are horror films that are themed after many different events of the year. There's an Easter-themed Easter -themed horror film out there. There's, as I said, many Christmas-themed horror films. There are, you know, there's a bloody Valentine's Day-themed horror, horror films, and that's just one day. Uh, yes, technically Christmas is one day, but it is a whole season, you know, there are from Christmas Eve till New Year's Day is technically, you know, the period of Christmas. Most people understand that as the Christmas period and most people get that time off. I'm actually in work on the 27th and the 28th, but then not back in till the 3rd of January after that. So that's actually pretty nice. Plus I do get some day, three days off this week, which again, you know, it's pretty nice, I get Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day off, so very nice, I must say. And there are many festivities taking place over many of those days, so all, all well and good. I'm just take another sip of this coffee, because to be honest, this is what's keeping me going right now, because I've been a bit of a fool and I've been up for many, many hours. But anyway, where was I? What was I speaking about? Um originally yeah basically there's just many aspects of christmas star you can look forward to i mean for most people it's as simple as they get some time off work because there are many places that really do crank down on their staff throughout the year and christmas is only the real like forced time off obviously the services ambulance police firefighters um coast guards all those kind of people the army obviously um they don't get time off and there are many other aspects of life many other people that don't get time off and i wish they whatever they're doing they get some enjoyment out of their christmas day or what have you or they get some sort of you know compensation or remuneration shall we say for their time whether it's double time triple time whatever it may be for the time they work i know a lot of places are scaling back when it comes to that sort of thing, but hopefully you get something for extra for your time because you bloody well deserve it. Um, I do know that um, where I live, the there was a person who used to take the armed guards um, Christmas dinners, you know, ready-made Christmas dinners, and used to take it to the armed guards. And they used to basically, uh, it wasn't sanctioned or anything, but they basically would, would have a Christmas break, a, a break, you know, it's a man's sanctioned break, but their superiors, you know, because it's Christmas, pretty much so, yeah, by always just, you know, organise amongst yourselves who's taking a half an hour to an hour break to eat your Christmas dinner, comes back to, you know, to guard duties and lets the other person go off and eat their Christmas dinner. And that just, you know, that's something that, again, it's something that was organised, a, a superior officer has said to their, their, you know, inferiors, is that the word? Said to their people under their command, yeah, just organise it amongst yourself, make sure that the place is still guarded, and by all means, go off for half an hour and, you know, have yourself a, um, a Christmas dinner. And it's just little things like that that are 
things that warm the heart during the um, during the Christmas break. Um, I do have some things to talk about that happened uh, a couple of days back. Long story short, I have a partial refund coming from Zoom because there was some damage to a box set I bought. It's actually behind me. It's the um, Universal Monsters 7 Steelbook set of seven of the Universal Monsters films. And one of the steelbooks got damaged in the post. They gave me a partial refund, which I think is perfectly adequate. Plus, I've gotten something for completely nothing. And that is the... Dark Knight Rises 4K Blu-ray film book, as it's actually called. Um, it does have the standard Blu-ray on there and does have a digital copy in there. The digital copy, I do believe, is actually the 4K digital copy, but it scales. So depending on what display you are watching it on, it will scale accordingly. Because it is a digital copy, of course, it can digitally detect uh, what display you are watching it on and will scale Accordingly, I have actually watched the first 20 minutes to half an hour of the 4K um, version on my Xbox One S over there, actually, because that is a 4K Blu-ray player, on my 1080p telly, and my unscientific approach to this, my and my eyes, uh, it does look better than the standard Blu-ray. There is... Definitely something being done in the background to make it look... It has more punch to it. Um, that may be the HDR encoding working in the background, even though I don't have an HDR telly. But, you know, that there was definitely something going on in the background to make the picture look better than it would on the standard Blu-ray. It's funny, because going back to the standard Blu-ray, there was almost like a grain over the whole screen the same kind of grain that you can notice if you go from blu-ray to dvd or straight from blu-ray to dvd if you just watch a dvd you're not going to get it if you go straight from a blu-ray to a dvd look there's like a almost like a fog or like a, like a grain across the screen you'll notice um it's really bizarre when you notice it but look out for it you'll notice it trust me um Anyway, it was meant to be Luke's present, um, his Christmas present. I was going to send it to him, a good friend of mine, Luke, for those who have stumbled across this video on the internet somewhere. Um, and long story short, it ended up coming here instead because Amazon cocked up. Long story short, they sent it to the bidding address, not to the delivery address. I sent, obviously, his address. As the delivery address, it ended up going to the bidding address. Uh, long story short, Amazon admitted they cocked up and gave me a complete refund on the item. So that's interesting, and that's money coming back that may be used for something else in a few days' time. We'll see where things go. And that is a notification because I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on. Anyway, guys, just wanted to do a video here just to uh, you know wish you guys happy Christmas and all that kind of stuff and uh, anyway I'm going to get back to this video I'm watching drink this cup of coffee and go and do the final bits of Christmas shopping and all that kind of stuff anyway guys you know the spiel subscribe like dislike comment down below don't forget the subscribe button I've already said that don't forget the bell icon make sure the, the quotations are around it and you receive a notification to your device of choice every time I upload a video and as always, guys, you take care, have yourself a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra.